Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk about all those difficult feelings that sometimes arise when we're manifesting a specific person. Specifically feelings like you're missing them, feeling like where are they, what are they up to, um, why are they not here with me, I want to see them again, I want to talk to them again, things like that. And these especially apply in situations where you're in no contact with your specific person or when you're in separation um, or maybe even when you're long distance with them or situations like maybe you're friends with benefits, but you don't have a commitment from them. Maybe you're not dating exclusively with them, or maybe you are together, but you only see them once in a while. Whatever the situation might be, if you are having those difficult feelings arising, which if you're manifesting a specific person, you probably will have experienced that, at least from time to time, feeling like you're missing them, feeling like, I need them here, I want them here, I want to spend time with them, I want to talk to them, I want to see them, etc. Then if you're in this category, this video is for you, so stay tuned. So first of all, let me get something clear. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having feelings of missing your specific person. Even if you are in a situation where you're in a relationship with someone, even if you're married to someone and for example, they're out on a long trip for several days or weeks, it's very, very normal that if you're in love with that person, you are going to miss them. So first of all, get rid of the guilt of missing your specific person. If that's the situation, if you've been told by other coaches that missing them is a bad thing, get rid of that guilt. It's not a bad thing. It's a very normal thing in a relationship. When you are with someone and they're away for whatever reason, you are going to miss them. So missing them in and of itself is not actually opposite to living in the end, not at all. And there's nothing wrong in having feelings of missing your specific person from time to time. So you can relax about that. You can take a deep breath. You can tell yourself it's very, very normal. Where it starts to become a problem with missing a specific person, especially if it's not a relationship you're in, if you want to get into a relationship with them or get back together with them, if you're in separation, if you're in no contact, um, if you're friends with benefits, if you don't have the commitment that you want, if you don't see them often enough, things like that, where the feelings of missing them and where are they and why are they not here with me become a problem is when you start building stories around them. And then you start reacting to these stories and you take the feeling of, oh, I miss them. Oh, I wish they were here. Oh, how I wish that I could spend some more time with them or some time with them. And you make it into a, they don't want me. They don't love me. They don't care about me. Uh, they didn't reach out. I haven't heard from them in a long time. We're still in no contact. I'm still blocked, blah, 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 blah. And you make it into a story that is actually unfavorable to what you're manifesting. And then you keep spiraling over that and you keep reacting to that and you keep feeling depressed about that. And then you also feel guilty because you've been told that you're not supposed to feel these feelings or otherwise your manifestation might fail. And before you know it, you get into a spiral of negative, unfavorable, unpleasant emotions and your mental and emotional state becomes 10 times worse. So I'm here to tell you that missing someone, your specific person in and of itself is not a problem, it's not an issue, even if you were in the perfect relationship with them, actually missing them would be a very healthy sign of healthy bonding with them, that you have a secure, healthy attachment with them. Because when you love someone and you are together with someone, it's very, very normal when they're not around that you will start missing them. It's when you start spiraling over those feelings and when you start making them into stories and into unfavorable assumptions and you get into a state of, feeling like you're never going to be back together or together, or you're never going to have them. They're never going to be yours. Uh, you're never going to be in a relationship with them and you feed yourself an unfavorable story. This is when it starts to become a problem. 
So how do you actually deal with that? And how do you actually reframe those feelings so that A, they don't make you spiral, and B, you turn them into something positive, something favorable, and something that serves the new story that you're manifesting. This is where you can take the energy that you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling a little depressed. Maybe you're feeling quite sad. You feel like you're missing them. You feel like, okay, I want them here. I want to be with them. I want to spend time with them. You take that energy and the feelings that come with this energy and you assume and you reframe it as they're feeling the same thing. And I'm feeling this way because I'm channeling their thoughts. Remember what we've said before about thought transmission and about telepathy, how we all transmit our own dominant thoughts, our dominant assumptions and dominant energies to each other subconsciously, pretty much 24 seven. So you can actually take those energies that you're feeling, those unpleasant feelings, those, those uncomfortable feelings, and actually assume that you are receiving their thoughts, you are receiving their subconscious energies, you are receiving how they're feeling about you, and you can assume that they're missing you too, that they are sad without you, that they want to be with you, that they want to spend time with you, that they love you so much, that they're thinking about you, that they want to contact you, and any other thing that can actually favor the new story that you're manifesting. And use these energies productively to actually tell yourself that this is how they feel about me. I feel like this, but they feel the same way. So use it as a tool to reassure yourself as a tool to actually boost your confidence in what you're manifesting and use it as a tool to trust your specific person that they actually reciprocate your feelings, that they actually feel the same way about you, that they have the same thoughts, that uh, they are getting the same energies, the same missing energies, they're thinking about you, they're missing you, they want to spend time with you, they want to contact you, um, they want to see you, they want to hear from you. Remember, manifesting is all about perception. How you perceive something that happens, that includes our thoughts, that includes our feelings, what we do about them, how we respond to them and how we react to them or not react to them. So it's very, very, very much about perception. So if you take these feelings and you make them mean that I'm useless, that means we're not getting back together, I'm a horrible manifester, I can't even keep my mental diet, I'm going to beat myself up for that, and that means that I'm ruining my manifestation, and I'm delaying things, and I'm not being good right now as a manifester, and any, any sort of unfavorable story about yourself, or about your relationship with your specific person, or both, then you are creating an unfavorable story, and you're impressing your subconscious mind with stories that do not serve you at the end of the day. At the same time, you could take those exact same feelings and actually channel them into something more productive, something that actually serves your story, something that actually favors you. And if you get into that mindset, chances are you will also start feeling better much sooner. So you can instead assume that, oh, I must be receiving their energy telepathically. I must be receiving their thoughts. I must be receiving their assumptions. I must be receiving their energy. If I'm feeling like that, it must mean that they're feeling the same about me. Boost your confidence, boost yourself, build yourself up. Tell yourself that you're such an amazing manifestor, such an amazing um, telepathy person, that you can actually telepathically feel what they're feeling and what they're thinking, which by the way, in many, many ways, it's already true. If you want, you can even have an inner conversation with them and tell them that, I know we're feeling the same way. I know you're feeling like that right now. I feel the same way. I know we're coming together soon. I know we're meant to be together. I know you want to talk to me. I know you want to reach out to me. I know you want to come meet me. I know you want to come see me or travel to me if they're long distance, whatever the situation might be. Make it relevant to whatever your circumstances are and use it as a manifesting tool. Use it to actually reinforce your story, reinforce your new reality and reinforce the new state that you want to be in instead of actually making it mean something negative, something unfavorable, something that opposes what you want. And instead of allowing yourself to spiral over it and create all those unfavorable assumptions, all those unfavorable stories that at the end of the day, you don't need. At the end of the day, anything that happens, as we've said before, is neutral. So it is what meaning you assign to it. It is what label you assign to it, how you choose to take it, how you choose to interpret it. So choose to interpret it as something good, choose to interpret it as getting closer to your manifestation and take it as my SP wants to be with me. My SP has the same feelings I have for them. Our feelings are mutual. 
he reciprocates or she reciprocates the feelings I have for them. So take these feelings and make them into something productive, something that is actually going to favor your manifestation instead of delay it or attach a bad story to it. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel and watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.